I fell down a resin rabbit hole. So since I didn't know what I was doing, I start to research, how do I pour resin? How do I make a fish tank out of resin? And wow, did I get sucked in and sucked in fast. So come along with me, Susie Q. Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Mini Axe. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I started to go down the resin rabbit hole. Let's go check it out. So I'm a miniaturist and I want to display an art project, but it's going to be at a fish show. So I want my fish to be realistic. So I started playing around with guppies and an axolotl, pouring it in a resin with a black background to see how it would appear. And what I see the problem is, is first of all, it's not realistic. I wouldn't have an axolotl in with this many guppies in this small of a tank. So I need to be realistic as well as creative. So then I thought, okay, if I have a 10 gallon tank, what could I possibly put in there? So I tried some tiger barbs. This is a smaller tank, which would be acceptable. Still learning, have not learned how to sand yet. So this is that 10 gallon tank. So all these tanks, even though they're not gonna be front and center in the show, they're gonna be on the shelves because I'm building a fish room. And this is my beautiful betta, which would be in this five gallon tank or 10 gallon tank. This is a five gallon tank, 10 gallon tank. And it's coming out a little bit better. I got some plants in there. Let's see here. It's getting better. None of these have been sanded yet. And here's another betta fish. And the top coat I put on was UV. And I learned really quick, you gotta do something I poured resin for this and then top coated it with UV, but I had no idea what it was doing. I don't think the UV was ready or I cured it before it self leveled. Each one is a learning curve and each one is so many hours worth of work. So it's a, it's a hard learning curve. This one started to come out better. These are what's called CPDs. It's my cold water tank. So there's some CBDs in there with a goldfish, which both would be cold water fish and a little bit larger tank. I can only get away with this small tank with the goldfish because he's so little. So the challenge on top of creating something cute and adorable, art, artsy, is also making it realistic. So here I have a couple of lemon tetras, are they? Yes, lemon tetras, but this is the back end because I totally destroyed the front end. What did I do with the front end? Totally destroyed it. So I just painted it black and put that on. It's gonna be like on a shelf. And this I poured in a plastic container instead of in, this was in uh, a mold. So I got a few uh, silicone molds for them. And th so, so far, I, you know, each one learning curve, none of them are finished because I don't know how to sand yet at this point. And this is my Amphilophus, which would be in a larger tank. I tried to put the black rims around it. I tried to add, I think this one came out pretty good, except for the fact that I think once I sand them, it'll be better, but I already put black tape. This is just black electrical tape. So once I sand, now that I know, I can sand this pretty heavily and get the shine that I want. And then I tried an aquascaped, which is a designed tank using wood and plants. And I came up with this. This one I had to build in layers inside the molds. So this would be the equivalent of like a 40 gallon breeder tank. I've got my lemon tetras. I got a geophagus. I have it landscaped in such a way that it appears as something else. I actually put a filter in this one. This is the filter line. In the process of pouring my fish tanks, guess what happened? I fell down this rabbit hole. I fell down a resin rabbit hole. So since I didn't know what I was doing, I start to research, how do I pour resin? How do I make a fish tank out of resin? And wow, did I get sucked in and sucked in fast. Because now I'm still working on this project to make about, about 20 or 30 tanks. 
I want to make some reptile terrariums and paludariums, which is part water, part land. I fell into, some of them I had to make molds for. And because I was a little confused, I made my mold kind of backwards. So I had to build my pond inside of my mold. But I'm going to make a mold so it's just a pond insert. So my miniature hobby has brought me to a whole nother rabbit hole. And all I can say is OMG. Started off by trying to make coasters. These are all sitting in a trash pile waiting to be decided on if I throw them away or not. But I was successful in making some other coaster sets. I just not quite sure how to finish them. I've got trinkets made out of leftover resin from my projects and games, dominoes and tic-tac-toe. I started to make a few jars, cute little axolotls and butterflies. Can't forget the trays. And of course, with all this comes all different kinds of resins, dyes, glitter, mica powders, foils. Oh my. But what a fun rabbit hole to go down. And right now I'm in the learning how to finish products. Like I'm learning how to do the sanding, the different grits, how to get them after I start sanding shiny again. Whew. I love this rabbit hole. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Na na hey everybody is Susie Q. So come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.